Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life and please be sure to get an amazing laugh on every single day. So this reading is for the sign of Taurus. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle, finish shuffling these cards so we can get an accurate reading. I shuffled them like four times before this reading, but I love to shuffle them on camera so you all can see it as well. Okay. Whoop. Oh, okay. So let's, I'm not going to take any of these that fell out. We're just going to take the card that's on the bottom. It says, please call me. So, Taurus, you could want someone to reach out to you. Um, you could be in that energy where you want someone to call you or you want to call somebody is telling you like they're wishing that you call them or either you're wishing that someone call you. Energy is fluent. So this could be the way you feel about someone or um, they feel about you. Okay first card out the hermit card you feel like somebody has sort of like cut you off they're not being you know as like um they're sort of reserved or in that reclusive state um or you could be in this energy where you just sort of are like looking at trying to like go on your own journey and find out something that's going on in your own life trying to see things in a different way then we have the Ace of Swords, but it's in reverse. It's like you want to get some information. You're looking for information with this Hermit card. Um, you're, you're hoping to find something, but it's slow to come in or you're not getting the information that you really do want. And this could be the reason why you're wishing someone calls you so you can talk to them and get some information. Or either this could, like I said, be the other way around where you're sort of wishing that, um, where they're wishing that you will call them. Um, this could be somebody who's on some sort of like spiritual journey, state of themselves, things like that. But Taurus, I get the energy. This is actually you sort of like you, you're sort of like kind of, like I said, in that reclusive state, um, trying to find out the meaning of certain things, wanting information that you feel like you don't have to give you a new start. Um, the four of, of pentacles, something being withheld from you. Um, or you could just feel like you have to protect what you have thus far, like whatever you have, you may feel like you have to protect that right now. <clears throat> and then we have the Ace of Wands. And so that could be, speaking of like um, fertility issues or like, you could have somebody pregnant, have a baby on the way. That also speaks of like starting like scholar, scholars like um, learning something, starting a new, um, going to school or going back to school or something. So maybe somebody who you have pregnant, who you got pregnant is in school um, or either you're pregnant and you could be going to school at the same time, just like working on doing something new. Um then we have the Hierophant, which is your energy, Taurus. Um, speaking of higher learning, speaking of teaching people things, um, people coming to you or trusting, you could be finding out something. This could also, you could also have somebody pregnant where you're considering marrying them, or you have a child by somebody who you who you're going to you're planning on marrying. Um, Then we have the Knight of Swords, and that speaks of like that, that energy, like fighting for what you want, um, trusting yourself, information coming in very fast. You could be wanting to, you want somebody to call you. That's what I get, Taurus. Like you want someone to contact you. This Again, this could be somebody who you have, they're pregnant by you or either you're pregnant and you want, you know, your, your child father to call you. Um, this could be somebody you're married to or you're looking to get or you want to marry or something. But it, I also get the energy that, that, um, this is somebody who you feel like knows a lot or you have some information you would like to share with them. Um, 
You could have felt like this was the wrong person in the past, like you picked the wrong person in the past, but I get that you're seeing them differently now. That's what I get, Taurus. Like you're looking at them through different eyes right now. Um, but I get you want to get some sort of information that you feel like is being, you feel like something, some information is being withheld from you. You're looking, you're trying to find this though. You're trying, this is somebody who you really want to have a connection with. Um, you're trying to find out something. You're looking very closely. This could be somebody who you're on some sort of spiritual journey or either you look at them in a spiritual way or something. Um, hmm. With this two of cups, there's, you want some sort of union, some sort of connection with someone. Um, you could be really considering going in to just tell this person how you feel with this Knight of Swords. I get that you're ready to say how you feel. Like you're ready for marriage. You're ready to have a family, like even possibly have a child. This could be with somebody who you view as very smart, like a scholar or something. Um, somebody who you feel like can teach you a lot or somebody who you can teach a lot. Okay, then we have the um, the Eight of Swords, but it's in reverse. So this could be a, a, you were all in your head about this person. You couldn't quite make a decision yet. Um, I get that even you're seeing things clearly now, like about this person. And it's like it was a struggle before. Like you couldn't understand certain things about this person. Like I said, it felt like you you felt like you picked the wrong person or you sort of invested into the wrong person before, but you're seeing this person through new eyes now. It's like the veil has been lifted and, and it's like you see the truth about this person and now you, you could possibly want to marry them. Um, this is somebody who you want to make an offer to, some sort of, you know, you have some sort of connection with, you want to make some sort of offer to offer of love you want to give them your cup of love or something okay and then we have the king of pentacles beautiful nice taurus okay so it looks like you actually have um a lot of stability you've worked on a lot of stability or you see that you and this person together are stable like you both could be very prosperous together or something so it's like the veil has been lifted. You see the truth about this person that they're very loving and that or that you want to give them a cup of love. You want to have a union with them, possibly even marriage. I get that you're, you want you want to you want them to call you quickly or you or you want to contact them or you want to speak with them or something like that quickly. Um, then you have the king of pentacles, which speaks of a lot of financial stability, having the you feel like you can be prosperous with this person. Okay, Taurus, so that is your reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. Thank you.